Welcome back to Weather Wonders. I'm Joy Bettenhausen. Today we are recapping the three-year anniversary of the Marshalltown, Pella, and Bondurant tornadoes. Here's a video of the Marshalltown tornado it's, uh, taken by Penny and sent that in. You can see it has that kind of wedge shape. It was an EF3 tornado and it was on the ground for about 23 minutes and it produced 22 injuries. But that was the event total. There was actually 21 tornadoes associated with this outbreak that day across central Iowa. And thankfully, only of those injuries came from this Marshalltown tornado. But here's a look at kind of the length and the path it took. Peak winds 144 miles per hour. It started by Marietta, and that's when it was kind of gaining strength. Notice the different colored triangles. The orange ones, that's the EF3 kind of damage that went through there. So it really started picking up strength as it was approaching Marshalltown, producing crop damage and damage to trees. Then as, I, as it was moving through the town, causing extensive damage, finally dissipating well after moving out of Marshalltown. Here's a look at some of the damage from the Marshalltown tornado. This was the Lennox warehouse. It was damaged. This was uh, taken by the National Weather Service in Des Moines. You can see some of those concrete structures associated with that building toppled over kind of the roof gone and a lot of structural damage to some metal as well. There's a piece of that metal kind of right by that sidewalk at the bottom of your screen. But then there was also another tornado. This one EF3 near Pella, Vermeer plant damage. You can see the roof's gone, metal structures just twisted. You can see wood scattered about, thrown around, but some of that brick structure, structure still holding strong. That's why it was an EF3 and not rated any higher. Then there was an EF2. This was Bon Durant. Home damage. Look at that for second floor. It's completely been removed from that home. You can see um, part of the uh, garage door is completely gone and twisted about some of that siding removed as well. It was definitely an extensive day. Again, 21 tornadoes were reported for that outbreak. So if you want to learn more about this, I've got a blog up there right now. Go to Schnack's Weather Blog at kwwl.com. And we'll be right back.